In section 3.2, problem number 39, we're asked to look at the area between the two curves a to the minus a t, or e to the minus a t, and e to the negative b t, where a and b are two positive numbers. And we're look, asked to look at the area between those curves from 0 to u, some value u, and then look at it as u approaches infinity. So the graph will look something like this. This will be one of our curves, e to, say, e to the minus a t. And um, it's not quite right, but our other curve will look something like this. So we're looking for um, this area here as kind of t as we go towards infinity. So kind of think of it as the area from 0 to infinity, but more precisely, we're talking about the, inner, the area from 0 to some value u, and we just look at the limiting value as u approaches infinity. So what we're really interested in is um, the limit as u goes to infinity of just the area between 0 and uh, u of the difference between the two graphs, absolute value of the difference between the two graphs. Um, so absolute value of negative, uh, or e to the negative a t uh, minus e to the negative b t. And uh, with respect to t. Now, we know that a and b are both positive, so we'll just have to assume that one is greater than the other. Uh, of course, if they were both equal, this would just be equal to zero. So we're really interested in the case. Um, or the, if they were both equal, a, if a was equal to b, then we'd just be looking at the same curve, and the area, of course, would be zero. So we can assume that, well, let's just say that a is uh, less than b, which is how I drew the graph here. Uh, b is greater than e to the negative b is going to approach zero more quickly. So in this case, uh, the absolute value of the difference of the two functions uh, is going to be positive. In other words, uh, e to the negative at will always be greater than e to the negative bt from zero, then zero to infinity. Uh, I should say greater than or equal to. Um, so this is just the integral of e to the negative a t minus e to the negative b t. Well, let's take the integral. Um, this is negative 1 over a times e to the negative a t, uh, just by a simple substitution. And similarly, this is plus. Uh, 1 over b e to the negative b t. And we evaluate this from 0 to u. And take the limit of the entire thing. I'll put off taking the limit until the next step and just expand this. We get negative 1 over a e to the negative u t. Uh, plus 1 over b e to the negative ut. And uh, let's see. This is evaluated at u. And now we need to subtract off the um, function, this function evaluated at 0. So it gives us minus 1 over a. Uh, times e to e to the negative a times 0. Um, actually, wait, hold on. I apologize. This should be a u, and this should be b u. So we're substituting for t, not a and b. So over here, we substitute 0 for t, and we end up with e to the 0, or just 1. And similarly, we get plus 1 over b. All right, 
So now we can take the limit as u goes to infinity. And as u goes towards infinity, since both a and b are positive, uh, the, set, the e to the a u and e to the negative b u are just going to go to 0. And since there's no a's in this term, this just leaves us with uh, 1 over b minus uh, 1 over a after we distribute the negative sign.